Shale gas is one of the unconventional gases. Uh, other unconventional gases include coal bed methane, tight gas and hydrates. The difference from conventional gas is, with conventional gas, if you drill a hole in the ground, the gas will flow. With unconventional gas, uh, drilling a hole in the ground is not enough, you have to do something else. And in the case of shale gas, what you have to do is what's called hydraulic fracturing fracking and this involves injecting water sand and chemicals at very high pressure into the well bore in order to fracture the rock and allow the gas to be released it's been in the last five years a major change in the global energy picture uh, relating to the so-called u.s shale gas revolution uh, to put that in perspective for you um, about five years ago, less than 5% of U.S. domestic gas production came from shale gas. Uh, this year, the estimates suggest it will be between 20 and 25% of U.S. domestic gas production. And if we're moving out to the, the 2030s, you're looking at over half of U.S. Uh, domestic gas production coming from shale. Well, there are two issues here. One is that burning methane uh, produces CO2 but it produces much less CO2 than burning oil or coal. Uh, also, shale gas operations tend to be more energy intensive than conventional gas operations, so that will also increase the CO2 emissions, but not by very much. A lot of the debate, however, is about the fact that methane itself is a very potent greenhouse gas, far more potent than CO2. So there is concern that if you're getting a lot of methane leakage, uh, this could increase the greenhouse gas emissions. There's a lot of differences. The most obvious one, I guess, is the issue of property rights. In the United States, subsoil, minerals, hydrocarbons are the property of the landowner. Um, in Western Europe, they're the property of the state. Can the U.S. experience be replicated outside of the United States? In other words, is it possible uh, to develop shale gas potential, for example, in Western Europe? There is no question that the technically recoverable resources are there, but there are a lot of barriers. We don't have the service industry capability you have in the United States uh, in 2008 on the Barnet Shale play at the height of their operations. They had 199 drilling rigs drilling. Um, last month in the whole of Western Europe there were 69 drilling rigs and 24 of those were in Turkey. So there are a lot of reasons why shale gas will eventually become important in Europe but we're looking at a, the, a 15 to 20 year time frame rather than a 5 to 10 uh, year time frame.